Hello guys, this is Madhu from Adi Yogi Ayurveda. Welcome to my podcast. I am a certified Ayurveda lifestyle consultant, Vedic counselor, quantum healing hypnosis practitioner, clinical master herbalist, Usui Reiki practitioner, animal Reiki practitioner, and a spiritual coach. As a holistic practitioner, I concentrate on mind, body, and spirit healing, using energy healing, herbal remedies, and Vedic sciences. Come check out my website at adiyogiayurveda.com. I put the link down below in the description. And let's get started. Good morning everyone. This is Madhu from Adi Yogi Ayurveda. Today I wanted to talk about joy. How natural it feels to be in the vibration of joy. So first I want to I want you to make a note of uh the area from your heart to above. So heart chakra to the crown chakra, that area. And really pay attention to the resistance that you have. Any tensions, any feeling of tightness. Pay attention to that. And just keep noticing that whenever something happens, how that upper body area reacts to that situation how your heart reacts your head area your shoulders see how that that area reacts okay so when we have things on our mind we're worrying about something we're generally in that mode of resistance then we have these tensions let's say we have this thought like oh oh my gosh it's going to rain today and i have to go somewhere and you keep thinking about it and you feel tension because you are trying to resist that thought even from coming you're trying to resist that thought even taking place in your reality so that resistance creates this kind of this um this tension like you're trying to push it away push it out of your being your system So you can notice that when you really pay attention to your body so that then you understand that the situation the thought or the situation is not something that you like or you're comfortable in and it's okay first of all this is this is very important it's okay to feel negative or feel something that you're not comfortable with it's your feelings you have to honor your feelings because these feelings tell you how you feel about a situation in your life how you feel about certain things based on your experience and it's kind of part of your ego but it's not necessarily bad because sometimes you need this ego and the emotions to tell you which direction to go because that's kind of like your compass there's there are negative you know aspects of the ego but then ego is something that gives you an identification gives you a definition of who you are and it, it's it's a double edged sword it could be used in a good way or a bad way so when when i when you know in other videos if i say ego ego that means like you you know you're like narcissistic type of ego vain vanity thinking you're better than others or trying to create separation or trying to harm anyone you know that that type of that's bad but the good side of ego is that it gives you the sense of recognition identity to understand where you are and who you are and how you represent yourself to others based on what you came here to do based on your you know the job the work so anyways getting back to the topic so if there is something that you're not comfortable with you're not happy with 
your body tenses up. So it's up to you to dig deep and find out the root of this emotion, this feeling. Where is it coming from? Why? So you will find that exact situation or the reason why this is coming up. For example, the rain example. Let's say you're feeling like it's going to rain, it's going to rain. Right? And maybe you're psychic, maybe you're super psychic and you can predict. Or maybe you're thinking if it rains, like the last time, last time when it rained and you had to go somewhere, you got super soaked because you didn't get to carry an umbrella or you forgot to take your umbrella and then you got sick. So that is kind of like bringing up this negative experience that shows to you from your mind as an example of how this situation could turn out bad. Then you know the root cause. You know that because you didn't take an umbrella. So what can you do this time? If you feel like it's going to rain, take an umbrella. By taking an umbrella, you're putting yourself at ease. So this is an example, but this is the trend or what you're what you can do because the ultimate goal is to reduce this tension reduce the stress reduce the worries so you can be in the state of joy so when you say okay i'm going to take an umbrella that puts your body at ease because your body is like okay i'm safe i'm not going to be drowning in the rain i'm not going to get sick So instead of worrying, you can put yourself at ease. So that's the thing. You have to notice how you feel, how what your body is signaling you. And if there are any fears, do something different to change your perspective. Change your usual routines. Because if you if you if you allow these same routines to take place, same things to take place without doing anything about it, you are going to be constantly in that state of anticipating the worst, the worst happening, anticipating the worst, the worst happening. Whereas when you are feeling negative, ask yourself, how can I change this? How can I fix this so that I will be happy? I can be in, in the state of joy. When you ask yourself that, your your body, your soul gives you that answer. Okay, here's something that you can do that will change this, that will change the dynamics of this, that will change the usual trend. That's why listening to yourself, to your inner voice, your heart space is very important. It might not be sudden answers but if you keep thinking about it it will eventually give you an answer because when you make the decision to change the circumstance in your life and say no i've had enough of this this is not going to happen i want to change it then you make that decision and then life gives you a solution for it so so that when you make take steps to change it You will feel joy when you surrender. When you surrender. Surrendering is is not fighting against the fear, but just really just letting it play out. I don't, you know, it doesn't matter what happens. Whatever happens, I'm going to face it. I'm going to embrace it. And then you're able to surrender because the state of resistance it really creates this this tension within you that you're like fighting you're internally fighting to the point where you just can't relax but when you surrender and say whatever happens will happen you're putting yourself into this state of joy because Joy is the opposite of resisting. Joy is being, just being naturally who you are. And it's it's not giving up, but just stepping aside. 
stepping aside so things can take place. Well, I can give you an example. I, I know I mentioned this earlier that something amazing happened on last Monday as soon as the Leo season started. I mentioned Sunday, but it was actually Monday. So I was I was trying to... I was a PhD candidate. I wanted to do, do that for like two years. <laughs> but and then it it didn't go through some somehow it didn't go through so i found this school and i was talking to them getting the information and i have sent them the transcript but the rest of the things weren't going through and there was this feeling of stuck like this feeling of being stuck and i just thought like maybe what am I doing wrong? You know, maybe I'm not doing something. But I was trying to control the situation instead of letting it play out and, you know, happen in divine timing. And then I said, you know, I surrendered and I said, you know, whatever happens will happen. And I had this strong feeling like, okay, things will work out, but I just didn't know how because I needed the funding. I needed this initial funding and I'm still looking for the rest of the funding, but I was looking for the initial funding. And Monday, everything just fell into place as soon as I surrendered. You know, I said, I surrender. I, I'm not, like, I, I stopped resisting. Because resisting is when these negative thoughts come up and you're like, oh, I don't want that. I don't want to think about that. I just allowed these thoughts to come out and just be like, okay, you know, do your thing. Play it out. And... And, you know, just process and release. So it's like all in that upper area, heart chakra and above, all these things happening. And I just let it out and I said, you know, I just kept, I just said, I surrender. I kept surrendering. I just kept letting go of anything, any resistance, any negative thoughts that came up. And I said, I choose to be here. I chose this life. And I choose to go to this school. I choose to do this because it will help me serve people better. Um, and this is what I choose to do because I love natural medicine and I want to go further into it. So I can help people and be at a better place to help people. And I said that I surrendered as soon as I said that, like within a few minutes, everything just started to fall into place I've already had my personal statement done or I had to like tweak it up a little bit and send that out got everything set up so I was just ecstatic because as soon as I surrendered I felt very free first of all it just felt very freeing like like, oh, you know, like a weight has been lifted. Because you're not worrying about it. You're not carrying that weight anymore. So when you surrender, you're just letting go of that resistance. Because that resistance is like you're going against the currents. Like a hurricane. Like a hurricane wind is blowing this way and you're trying to go against it. You know that's going to be really hard. You just have to allow the wind to carry you like a leaf in the air. I know this is like a really bad example. <laughs> Please don't get blown away by hurricanes. But I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. You just have to let it be. Let it go. You know. Just And then the wind will take you to the right place. So I felt very free. And all of a sudden I just felt very joyful when I surrendered. And I said you know. Wow it just feels good. I'm not resisting anything that might be coming my way and the moment I stepped aside whatever whatever it was supposed to come whatever was supposed to come just came so internally I was kind of blocking that thing because of that resistance because of mm, you know sometimes if you have the doubt the self-doubt sometimes that that will block it so I, when you step aside you allow that joy to flood in and take over your whole being that love and light good juju so what i wanted to share today is that 
being in that natural state of joy like allowing and being without resistance is like being a child and that's one of the most important things about this season leo season it's really about exploring the inner child and allowing this inner child to come out and play like yesterday i all of a sudden i'm like i want to go get a massage i want to go out and play i went got, got myself a massage and then i went to eat this uh crepes and then i came home I just you know walked around and i came home that's my play time <laughs> so i went to play i guess I, i was studying so hard this uh past few days that i wanted to take a break my brain was you know turning into a soup so i was like you know what? i'll i'll go because that made me happy that thought when i thought of that i just started to feel very joyful more joyful than i was feeling at that time so i thought you know what i'm just going to go i went got that done and came back um you know that was it you just have to follow your joy follow your heart and that's going to place you without questioning you know you can't like question yourself um come up with like all these doubts but just go with it and put yourself constantly put yourself in the timelines of joy and if you do feel something negative it's okay it's coming up to be released to be healed there's nothing wrong with that there's no need to be um oh spiritually right all the time and that's really being very stiff and just not allowing yourself to be who you are grow as yourself like you know just be who you are if you're feeling angry about something let yourself feel angry it'll bounce around like a ping pong ball and leave that's letting it process or letting yourself understand the situation so it won't happen again learning the lessons and then just letting it go because if you are resisting feeling oh i shouldn't be feeling like this i shouldn't feel like this i should always be feeling wonderful well you're pressing that down you're suppressing those negative emotions so that that situation is not going to resolve itself it's just going to keep coming in different ways until you really face it understand the situation and embrace those that dark or negative experiences and learn from it so you can let it go this world is dualistic this is about duality this is about facing the darkest parts of yourself to find the light you can't be afraid of feeling negative there's nothing wrong with feeling lack or feeling negative or feeling angry or feeling like you're not good enough sometimes because that's really bringing up something that needs healing within you and every time you feel negative understand that that is to take you to the next level it's beautiful let these things just sit and let these thoughts and things bounce around and leave and just surrender and just sit there keep just keep on surrendering just keep on giving everything to god or the higher power or the spirit and just be in the mode of least resistance so that these like lessons can come and you learn it and you uh, and they're done and you you the faster it finishes the faster you are back in your state of joy so path of least resistance is the way to go and there's nothing wrong with feeling negative there's nothing wrong with feeling whatever because all those feelings are the breadcrumbs that will bring you to love light and joy that will put you in the higher timelines because it's kind of like breadcrumbs that life or your higher self leaves for you so you can it's like what do you call that game scavenger hunt it's like that <laughs> you find one thing and get that clue go to the next one so just keep asking what am i learning here what can i do to improve this situation asking those questions in like in a constructive way approach this in a constructive way r- rather than a in a very criticizing way 
just accept whatever it is and understand that you're growing from these things and there's nothing wrong with feeling negative so then that's how ultimately you become the joy joy becomes a natural state of being because it is a natural way of being we love being in joy and it helps like tackling these fears and releasing them helps to constantly be in the state of joy so yeah this is what i wanted to share with you guys from my experience thank you so much for joining me for this podcast and thank you so much for your support please do check out my services at adiyogiayurveda.com and i will speak to you next time this is madhu from adiyogiayurveda